At 20 hundred hours, Prentice arrives in the vicinity of Froelich's residence. The surveillance vehicle moves past to its pre-assigned position. At 2006, Franz Hornung arrives in the area. His intention is to obtain the photographs from Freulich after Prentice has departed. At 20.08, exactly five minutes after Prentice entered the house, the raid commander signals the entering party to move into the target. Quickly grasping the situation, Hornung proceeds to make himself scarce. To ensure the element of surprise, the initial entry must be made with speed. One hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. What's that? I... Anything Carl? Nothing. Only the money. Okay. The prisoners will be taken to a place of detention where a thorough body search will be conducted. Okay, it's all yours. The covering party will now make a thorough search of the premises. The search is conducted in a systematic, clockwise manner from any designated point, such as an entrance door. The search includes examination of the walls, the ceiling, the floors, and the furnishings. Electrical fixtures and other likely places of concealment must be examined carefully. Nothing should be bypassed. 
even the most unlikely places of concealment may yield evidence. Every item of evidence must be recorded and tagged, and a receipt given to the owner. As the search in Froelich's house continues, his accomplice is apprehended, attempting to enter East Germany through a different checkpoint. Horning will now be taken to West German counterintelligence, where he will be interrogated. Eventually, he and Froelich will be arraigned and tried as espionage agents. Sergeant Prentice will be charged and tried by the U.S. military authorities. When a military intelligence unit is engaged in a raid and search operation, a number of fundamental principles and techniques must be applied. They include discreet surveillance of the suspect to obtain information and cooperation with the proper civil authorities, as well as the military. Preparation should include planning, coordination, selection and assignments of personnel, and procurement of equipment. The plan should be simple. The execution should be accomplished with speed and surprise and the search should be systematic and thorough. These and other actions portrayed in this film are vital to the success of a raid and search operation. <laughs>